Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of, well, it's not Final Fantasy XV, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> ah, funny thing, uh, again, they decided to update it when I wasn't able to catch up, and that's actually not my fault. <laughs> they updated it today. Uh, they're putting in, what was it, patch 1.12, which... Uh, unlocks the Regalia Type D, which is supposed to be like a monster truck version of the Regalia, which I think looks ridiculous, but I mean, hey, some people will love the shit out of it. But, uh, it's also in preparation for uh, episode Prompto. So, there's that. But, uh, yeah, it's already been a while since I started the update process for the game. Uh, did it like two hours ago. Started it two hours ago. And it's only halfway through. It's like 10, almost 11 gigabyte update. I'm not going to be able to finish it before I have to, you know, go to work. And there's no way I can avoid it. So, I figured instead of just fucking off and not doing an episode... I decided we should take a walk down memory lane with Skyrim Special Edition and uh, play one of my modded saves, because why not? Alright, that's not the right guy. Which guy would I want to go with? There we go. The one that's actually a high level that I can do something with. Oh yeah, that one, well, that particular mod ended up it's been a while since I played. <laughs> and when I came back, that particular mod was deleted. So instead of having an error message pop up for literally no reason, I figured just delete the mod entirely. But this save had that mod installed. So, uh, here's hoping it doesn't fuck things up. <laughs> if it does, then, uh, well, that's kind of my save fucked. Uh. I had to get a nice drink because it's fucking hot in Oregon again. Why? God damn it. Alright, here we go. Here's my uh, humble little home. Here we go. Get that on because why not? Whoops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Zoom out. And I got a mod that allows for katanas because of course I did. If I can do that, I might as well. There we go. Get a good close-up on them. I love katanas. <laughs> it's just the aesthetic, really. I know they're mainly a cutting weapon, so against armor, they're not going to be as useful, <laughs> like, at all. They have a little bit of thrust capability, but not enough. They're not designed purely for thrusts, or, you know, as strongly for thrusts as other weapons are. Uh, so... You know, against armor it wouldn't be great, but hey, I mean, I love the aesthetic and that's enough for me. Alright, there's the bard here. We got a little bedroom over here. Immersive citizens! Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot I had that mod. <laughs> yeah, they'd be uh, actually doing more regular things, but I can't seem to find my family at the moment. So, did I actually have... I don't think I married anyone in this safe file yet. <laughs> Uh, that might explain a couple things. But yeah, with the special edition, the load times are actually not that bad, even with mods installed. So, I mean, that's a good thing. Of course, it goes against what, uh, <laughs> goes against what Todd said, but then again, we've learned Todd is a liar. Todd Howard! Okay. <laughs> Or at least last I checked, the load times weren't that bad. Jesus. There we go. Perfect-ish. Alright, um... There's Lydia, my constant steward of this place. I don't think I ever pick anyone else. Alrighty. And... I think I'm probably just gonna make this a 10-15 minute episode. Somewhere in that ballpark. And the game does not really look all that different. The trees look nicer tell you that much and uh most of the textures are a little better but uh it's it's still the same good old skyrim i'd say 
I should probably do something interesting with this video. So, um... Where should I go? Uh... That's a good question, isn't it? Uh... Kolskegger Mine? No... No, I don't need to do that yet. Uh, Corvin June, that will take forever and a half. Why would I do that? Um, Crags Lane Cavern. Did I have a mission over Crags Lane Cavern? I, I must have. Alright, so, uh, we'll do that then. Why not? Alright. Once you've helped someone, they will like you. Some people may even be willing to follow you and carry out your orders. That's always fun. God almighty. It is too hot. Even this drink isn't enough to cool me down. Ugh. Man, oh man. Alrighty. Onward we go towards whatever the hell we were doing. Um. Frostmere Keep? Nah, it's... Well, I mean... That's a thing we can do. After I've come all this way. <laughs> Just to change my direction a bit. Uh... Oh yeah, that's right. It's right over here. And I have it unlocked as a fast travel point. There we go. That makes it easier. You are... Well, I mean, you look better than you did in the original version, but you are still an ugly fucking thing. Gh. can at least see the eyes for what they are. Instead of just... Meh. Jesus Christ. No wonder these are disease-carrying pieces of shit. Yeesh. Well, okay. Fuck. It's a thing. Uh, yeah, these shouldn't... These shouldn't have that much on them. I don't know what I was thinking. Alrighty, up we go. Um. Hmm. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything outside. I'm pretty sure I looted the outside pretty thoroughly. But, uh, inside we go to figure out what the fuck's up with the stuff in here. God damn it. I almost drank through this entire drink. There's like. Not even a sliver left, really. Okay. Inside we are, for what reason, we do not know. She was always dragging her into things. Stealing the boss's sword? Did he have a death wish? Who knows? The cat was crazy. She was a fool to trust him. Well, that's probably true. Uh, pop over to the bow. And there we go. Haha, <laughs> oops. That was supposed to kill you, motherfucker. That was Willis. Okay, that. What the hell? How did you manage to not die to that? There we go. Huntsman's prowess. That one's uh, that one's a uh, enchantment from the uh, poacher's axe that I managed to get onto the bow. Because at the time I did not realize it was technically an enchantment. Uh, now I, now that I know, I managed to uh, get it off the axe and onto the bow. Ooh, right in the face. Ooh, that had to hurt. <laughs> now that I have it, I can uh, hunt animals more effectively. But uh, yeah, Yeesh. these guys, uh, these guys, <laughs> I kind of gave it to them rough. All right. Oh, hi there! Uh, whoever you are, you're gonna about to get a sword in the face. Okay, grab whatever they got. How did they... Oh, jeez, hello! You... Okay, <laughs> that was quick. I forgot my uh, swords are very strong. Alright, perfect. And these aren't overpowered, by the way. These, these are relatively similar stats to whatever they're made out of. Uh, in this case, I think these ones are glass. And, uh... Yeah, they're not really that far off. I mean, I just have the perks and whatnot. And I don't know if I made the combat easier. <laughs> uh, I don't think I did. Let me double check. Um, yeah, I'm at Adept. I'm pretty much the same as I was in the playthrough. 
uh, originally. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. I just don't know how I managed to cut through that one as quickly as I did. Kier's Bounty. Alright. Kill Isa and Rajir on sight. A hundred gold to whoever brings me their head. Spread the word. Okay. Well then, someone's not happy. Someone's very not happy. Probably figure out what the fuck is going on. Something about a sword and a Khajiit stealing, which is honestly kind of our thing. Okay. What is... Is this the sword? I think I found the sword. You were looking for it. No. Nah, it's probably not. It's barred from the other side. Okay. Well, this way we go. in or out until he gets back. Well, the boss will skin you as soon as he's done with Regier. Oh. Gods oh. This. Follow Kier and Regier into the tunnels. Okay. Do I get a... F do I get a chance to save Regier? Is someone there? <laughs> yeah. It's me. <laughs> Cutting you up. Like this. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, let's... Fucking... Cut? No, it's more like break this open if I can make the lock picks work. God damn it. You dick bag. Okay. You whore. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Alright. And whoops. Why do I keep doing that? I'm stuck on Fallout 4 controls. Okay. Because it's essentially the same engine. Alright. Uh, I don't need to bother with these. Need to head down this way. Uh, making sure I'm not missing any loot, though. The Red Kitchen Reader. Hmm. I've never read this before. I'll take this. I want to read it. Boss went down there? Today? Yeah, he's after Rajir. Never seen him so angry. I've got a bad feeling about this. Something's just felt wrong down there lately. Sounding as crazy as the cat. They're going on about the pale lady next. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe he's not wrong. Maybe there is something really bad going on down there. You don't know. You don't know. Hell, I don't know. I oh, just came in here. Uh, Kier's log. Okay, maybe we'll glean some info. Frostmere Key. Uh, ra rather, Frostmere Crypt. Week 12. What a disaster. We haven't seen a caravan in a week. We actually lost ground in the tunnels. Thal and his team were crushed when their section collapsed. I've heard word of a mutiny if next week isn't any better. Uh, week 13. Two new recruits. Isa and Rajir. Girl said she did time in Sidna Mine down in Markarth and it shows. She's got more experience than all of us put together. I've put her in charge of the dig. Cat's good with a blade so I sent him topside with the raiders. Alright, fair enough. Uh, week 14. Tunnel's going well. Isa made our first big find just yesterday. Buried chest with a couple hundred gold. Mm, that sounds pretty good. Uh, topside, Rajir and his team have hit five merchants this week. In and out faster than the guard could respond. Looks like things are finally going my way. Yeah, about that. The tunnel broke out into some kind of giant cavern. There's a whole forest down there. Found a nice sword all laid out on some kind of monument and everything. But this is just strange, eerie. What is this place? Not like any tomb I've ever seen. I think the cat's gone crazy. All of a sudden he can't focus, keeps muttering to himself. He's gone from our best raider into our worst botched two jobs in just today. Oh, I didn't notice the dash. Uh, I thought it was part of the paper. <laughs> to our worst, botched two jobs just today. Isa's trying to cover for him, but she's not fooling anyone. Lately, he keeps asking to see my sword, begging to borrow it, like I'll let him get his paws on it. It's beautiful, perfectly balanced, better than anything I've ever held. Sure, he can have it, right in the gut. Alrighty, that explains a lot. So, uh, coveting the sword. Sword seems to have an eerie power to it. And, uh, thus far, that explains that much. That must be, uh, Regier... No. That's Regier's note. Isa. I see her in every shadow. Hear her voice on every breath of the wind. 
In my dreams, in my ears, in my mind. The pale lady, we have to stop her. Just return the sword and we can shut her away forever. I can't take this anymore. I have to do it. I must. Alrighty, that explains that. Apparently the sword might have been keeping the Pale Lady in place. And, uh, learn more about the theft from Frostmore Keep. Ah, uh, this is a whole lot of... It's a whole lot of stuff here. Uh, and I'm kind of over time for what I can allot for this, uh, makeup episode. I know I could possibly do more, but, uh, need to have some more in. I need to have some more for the next time because this is probably going to happen again. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video, even though it's not the typical video. Uh, again, I'm sorry. It released just today. There's nothing I can do. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Hopefully, the right episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and making up episodes in old games that, well, most of us still love, I hope, for you.